Hello friends, welcome to our channel education for you. Earlier we have posted important questions of various IGNO MCA courses. After receiving requests for MCS 51, I have prepared important questions of advanced internet technologies that is MCS 51 course. So please if you like our channel please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel also hit bell icon so that you will get notifications whenever we release mcs 52 and other course important topics if you have any doubts please ask in comment section now we will be discussing what are the important questions of mcs 51 Passing IGNO exam is very crucial and one of the difficult tasks because most of you will be studying offline. Okay, that is uh, you will be uh, doing your jobs and then you will be studying. So let's see how we can pass the exam easily. So in book one, unit one, that is servlet programming. You should know what is servlet. The topic is available on page number 7. Next topic is how servlet is initialized. So you should know servlet life cycle also that is available on page number 9. So in that one you will know how a servlet is initialized and how it is what you say it dies. Okay. Next topic is HTTP servlet request interface and you should also know their methods that is available on page number 12. Similarly, you should know HTTP servlet response interface and various methods belonging to that HTTP servlet response interface. These topics are very important topics. Okay. Next topic you should know is what is session tracking and how cookies are used for session tracking okay and what are the various methods that are related to cookies okay we can set cookies remove cookies so you should know what is cookie and what are the available methods that are related to cookies go through page number 16 next is servlet collaboration there are two types of servlet collaborations that is you should know okay these are the very important topics of book 1 unit 1 that is servlet program now let's move to next unit that is java database connectivity or jdbc so you should know what is jdbc probably you have read jdbc topic in earlier course of igno that is second semester next you should know types of jdbc drivers okay that is available on page number 36 also you should know what are the various steps to connect to a database that is available on page number 39 so jdbc is very important topic okay not only for exam per se but it is also very important when it comes to your project okay so go through this chapter carefully and learn don't buy hard try to learn okay now coming to book 1 unit 3 that is java server pages part 1 so you should know what is a java server page and why we use jsp okay please go through page number 53 next you should know uh, how to 
not how to one program is given on page number 56 very simple program okay i would recommend you execute that program on your computer okay and learn okay so question will come like write jsp program to display time okay it is very simple and very basic program next topic is relation of applets and servlets with jsp that is available on page number 56 next you should know what are scripting elements jsp expressions jsp scriptlets and jsp declarations these are very small small topics please go through page number 58 and 59 for this okay next you should know jsp implicit objects that is predefined variables topic available on page number 61 last topic is creating custom jsp tag libraries using nested tags this topic is available on page number 65 please go through it okay friends please subscribe to our channel because i will be releasing videos on each and every topic of this important questions and also i will be making one full course which will be a guide for igno mca students okay next is book one unit four that is java server pages part two in this one you should know how to include files and applets in jsp documents okay the topic is available on page number 78 next topic is inserting records in database how we can insert delete or update records in database okay also you should be able to display records in database sorry display records of a database onto your server pages or on your website okay now coming to book 2 unit 1 that is introduction to java beans let us see what are the important questions first of all you should know what is java bean go through page 6 you will get an idea about what is a java bean and why we use the java beans next you should know what are the bean properties that is page number 7 next comes enterprise java beans that is in short it is called ejb so go through page number 9 it is very important topic you should know ejb types okay so what is session bean what is entity bean and what is message driven bean should be clear to you if you don't know these topics please go through page number 61 these are very important questions guys okay don't miss them okay please listen to our video carefully okay and listen to the important questions please note down these topics and it will be easier to crack the exam next book to unit 2 that is enterprise java bins that is ejb architecture EJB architecture is one of the frequently asked questions please mark my words okay please go through page number 26 by heart learn or remember okay next you should know what are the advantages of EJB architecture that is given on page number 28 similarly you should know what are the restrictions on EJB that is given on page number 31 these are very important questions guys okay next you should know what is the difference between a session bean and entity beans coming to book 2 unit 3 that is EJB deploying enterprise java beans okay interfaces of ejb 
you should know what are the remote and home interfaces of EJB. A short note is on page number 44, please go through it. Next important topic is properties of JMS based message driven beans. Go through page 55. Next topic is message driven beans and transactions. It is very frequently asked question. Please go through page number 56 to learn this topic. Now coming to book 2 unit 4 that is XML. That is XML stands, stands for extensible markup language. So these are the important topics. This chapter is very important. Many questions are asked from this chapter okay so what is xml and why do we need xml this is very important topic next is overview of sgml next topic is differences between sgml and xml also you should know what are the advantages of xml over html this Solution is available on page number 80. XML development goals you should know. Next important topic is XML parser. Okay. In the parser topic itself you will know what is well formed XML document and valid XML document. You should know the difference between these. Okay. Next, last topic in this chapter is what are the XML entities? Go through page number 75. Coming to book 3 unit 1 that is web security concepts. These are the important questions. Web security concepts. You should know what are the web security concepts. SSL that is secure socket layer is very important topic. Okay. Go through page number 10. Next one is HTTP basic authentication. You should know what is HTTP basic authentication. Next important topic is form based authentication. Coming to book 3 unit 2 that is security implementations. Let us see what are the important questions. Recovery procedures. You should know what are the recovery procedures that is available on page number 20. Next SSL handshake. This is very frequently asked questions. So please read this topic. Next topic is using JNDI authentication. Okay, This is also very frequently asked question. Next you should know SSL authentication APIs. This is also very important topic that is using two-way authentication. Okay. Now, these were the chapters and important questions guys. Okay. Apart from these, some uh, real life programs will be asked. Okay. They will be very simple. If you know the programming, you will be easily answering these questions okay so thank you for your time and patience please like our video and subscribe to our channel for further notifications also hit the bell icon thank you bye bye